Hi, I'm Miriam Salim with the Runner's Mechanic Physical Therapy Clinic, and I want to show you how to do a nice comprehensive foam roller routine at the end of the day after you work or go for a run to help open up your alignment and your posture. First, you get a full foam roller, and you position yourself so that from your tailbone to your head, you're completely supported. In this position, you should feel like you're relaxed and that you have a balanced posture on either side, right and left of your pelvis. Your head, you should have your chin and your forehead in line. Make sure that you don't have your chin propped up or your neck in an extended position. So gently bring the chin down so that the forehead and the chin are roughly in the same plane. First, start by opening up your posture by letting your arms go to the side to open up your pecs. The further out to the side that you go, the more stretch that you feel. Okay. After that, bring down the arms and then start to do what we call a snow angel. Let the arms come back, climb back by the ears and gently fall to the floor. You can then bring the arms straight back down and then do that again. I recommend doing about 10 of these. and just go into the positions that your shoulders allow you to. So if that's too much on your shoulders, A, you can let them come a little bit wider as they come down, or B, you can stay in your pec stretch throughout the, the stretch, okay? After that, put your arms down by your side. You can gently roll into a little bit of a pelvic tilt, squeeze your glutes, and go up into a bridge. What this does is it lifts a little bit of glute contraction, hamstring contraction, and stretches the front of the hip flexors. You can gently come down and then roll back down. So gently pelvic tilt, squeeze the glutes and lift. This is a really nice one if you've been having any kind of hamstring tendon issues. It's a nice way to load the tendon without overstressing it. I probably would do between 20 and 30 of the bridges. If those are feeling okay to you, also try one where you go into one bridge lift on one side. Again, try between 10 to 20 of these if those feel good. If that feels too hard, stay with your double bridges. Okay, and then the last part, this is a really nice way to load the Achilles and start working the feet a little bit. So in this position, you'll go back up into your bridge and then go up onto the balls of your toes. Make sure that your toes are well under your knees. So into the bridge, lift, and up onto the toes. Stay up in the bridge as you slowly go down and up and down and up. This is a really nice way to start loading the Achilles, strengthening the soleus, I'd probably do about 30 of these, if that feels okay to you. And then stay up in the up position. You can actually roll to the outside of the foot. Stay up onto the toes, roll to the inside of the big toe, and then back down. Big toe, little toe, big toe, and down. Stay up into that bridge nice and tall. Try about 20 of these. Come all the way down and then relax. You can gently stretch your neck by letting your head roll to one side of the foam roller and then to the other side. And then the last part, you will want to take the foam roller and roughly put it in the middle of the back. Support the head with your hands in almost a hammock position and let your thoracic spine stretch over the foam roller. Inhale as you come up, and then exhale as you come down. Just go to comfort. Probably do between 10 and 12 of these. And if you want a little more stretch on the last couple reps, you gently bring the knees to the side as you go down. Come back up and go to the other side. This will rotate the rib cage something that we need a lot of when we run and gets very stiff 
when we work. Let me know if you have any questions. You can reach me through my email. But hopefully that swim roller routine will help make you feel good at the end of the day.